Today, I have an interesting question for you. Let's see who can answer it. So here, we are having an employee list. We are converting it to a stream and then printing it using for each. Now in executing, you see the input and output are exactly same. Now the task for you is that first of all, you need to sort the output on the basis of ascending order of their salary. And then you need to only print those employees whose salary is more than 7,000. Pause the video and tell me in the comments which two methods you will be invoking before this for each method in order to achieve the requirement. One eternity later. I hope you must have answered by now. So now let's see the actual answer. So first of all, we will be invoking the sorted method. And within that, we will be giving the criteria on the basis of salary. Now in executing, you see that we are getting the output which is sorted on the basis of ascending order of the salary. Then after this, the second method which we will be invoking is filter. There we will say that only show the employees whose salary is more than 7000. Now in executing again, you see that in the output, we are only getting three employees. Now you will say that okay Abhishek, it's working well. But believe me, there is a small problem with this. Let me show you for this. Let me remove this particular part from here and execute it again. Now you see that since we have sorted the employees on the basis of salary, which means that once we will cross the limit of 7000, then all the employees will obviously have salary more than 7000 only. But the problem with filter is that it will keep on checking for each and every element, which means the filter method is going to be executed six times here. But logically, if you think the moment we will reach 10,000, there is no need to check for this 20,000 and 90,000 again. So instead of this filter here, what we will do is that we will be making help of drop while. So this is another method which will accept argument as a predicate. Within this, we will say that where the salary is less than 7,000. So what we are actually trying to say is that keep on dropping the elements till the salary is less than 7,000, which means once the salary crosses 10,000, then there is no need to execute drop while again. Now in executing, you see that we are still getting the correct output, but this time it is much more faster than the previous output. If you find the concept helpful, do like the video and share with your friends.